You know what I found out last night from somebody is if your carbon dioxide levels are too high, which mine have been, and I and knowing that I have Chiari malformation, if your carbon dioxide levels are too high, that's an indication that um, of central apnea. With Chiari malformation, we're much, much higher for having central apnea and dying in our sleep. So when I was going through the benzo withdrawal and in absolute medical crisis with severe apnea, and they didn't believe me, when I had my appointment with the sleep doctor, I said, you know, Maybe I'm having central apnea. Can you check my can you check my carbon dioxide levels? And he looks shocked. He looks shocked. A lot of these doctors don't want you to know anything, you know? They 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 don't want you to have any knowledge. They they don't want you to ask for tests. And he looks shocked and I'm confused at why he looks shocked. And the night the the overnight study was a, a just a holy nightmare just stopping breathing non-stop the technicians were scared the technicians asked me if if i wanted them to call a nurse from the main floor i said no let's just push through it i was so ill i think they were worried i was going to drop dead or something and um on their watch you know Uh, I would roll over and stop breathing. I would, I would turn my head and I would stop breathing uh, in and out of consciousness. It was, it was just bloody, it was a holy nightmare. And I, I mean, I was living like that for, uh, almost a year before they gave me the CPAP. It's like criminal, you know, what they did to me, absolute medical torture. But, um, the thing is, okay, he said, no, we can't check your carbon dioxide levels and you look shocked. What I didn't know though, that that can be associated with uh, central apnea. I knew something was wrong with my breathing. And when he said my oxygen was okay, I found that hard to believe. And he could have lied about it because he lied about other things during that sleep study. So, I was shocked about the, that the oxygen was okay. And I said, well, what about the carbon dioxide levels? And he was shocked that I asked about that. And I bet he knew, he knew how ill I was. And, you know, I, I, I do feel like they left me in a condition that they shouldn't have left me in. And, and I wanted them to, you know, test my carbon dioxide levels and he said he can't or wouldn't and uh and then months later a year later you know just the nightmare continued the distress the the crisis continued despite me having CPAP and I demanded that they test my carbon dioxide levels in the ER and he came back hours later, the ER doctor, and said, they're fine. I'm too traumatized to even talk with this. He said they were fine and looked me right in the face and said they're fine. And I'm all confused. And, well, what's happening to me then? And why can't I breathe? And why am I in so much crisis? And he said, I don't know. Sell your house and move into a care home. I don't know. Then weeks later, I demanded to... I wanted follow up. I wanted, I wanted, I followed up those. I, I shouldn't be talking about this. It's tr so triggering and traumatizing. I followed up to get those levels and he lied about my carbon dioxide levels. So my carbon dioxide levels have been high. They could have been much, much higher. And I don't know, like a year earlier when I was, it, things were even worse. And at times, on and off, they might be really high, and no one's monitoring me. Um, 
Yeah, they were high, and and the ER doctor lied about my levels. So I was right, you know. Uh, it's shocking to find out these doctors are lying to us, and we're actually right about the hunches that we're having. And really disconcerting that the sleep specialist, you know, didn't feel like doing his job or needed to lie about things you know it's really how does a person even have trust with anybody you know but yeah so you know i'm i mean i'm at risk for dying when i'm asleep because of chiari and knowing that i they they've lied about my carbon dioxide levels that's you know they're they can't be trusted to take care of me i mean I fear the medical system for good reason. You know, it's ironic that I am this ill. I was ill prior to the medication injury and declining and life was slipping out of my hands. But this medication injury really, really harmed me. And it's ironic that, you know, this, this is from medical care. This, this medication injury is medical care, and it almost took took my life. It's almost taken my life dozens of times. And I'm going back to the same people to try to get help. I, I, there's so many people that don't understand medical trauma. But my carbon dioxide, I wish I am trying to get someone to help me get medical equipment to monitor me during the night for at least a month, my at least my oxygen levels, and there's there's nothing. <laughs>